How you doing? And welcome to another Cigar Assessor Cigar video review here at the Continental Cigar Club, 1716 Salt Sepulveda Boulevard in the beautiful city of Los Angeles. And today I have the pleasure of reviewing and smoking this beautiful cigar by Davidoff called the Robusto Intensio. Look at this. Nice milk chocolate colored wrapper, minimal veinage. Look at all that beautiful tobacco. So we just got these in and I figured let me do a review and get you guys in here to, you know, give it a shot. You know, Davidoff makes beautiful cigars. The wrapper is an Ecuadorian Habano. The binder is a Seco from San Vicente. And the filler is beautiful Dominican tobacco from, uh, let's see, the Semilla, I think that's how it's pronounced, 254 Visas. We have the Amasa Visas or Vices, the Piloto Visas, and um, the Li Mahario or Maharo, I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm white. Uh, Lihiro from San Vicente. It's uh, M-E-J, uh, I think it's E-R-A-D-O, Mihario. I don't know. What do you know? I am Spanish though. I do have a quarter of me Spanish. My grandmother came from the Isle of Puerto Rico. That's right, my dad's mom. And uh, she said they came from Spain. I don't know. Uh, she was born in Puerto Rico, so I don't know. That's all I know, you know? My other half, my other quarter, I got Italian, Irish, and German, so I'm a mutt. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? That's what happens. That's what happens when the sperm mixes, I don't know. So anyway, um, yeah. Let's get to work on this beautiful cigar. I'm gonna use a V-cut, one of the best V-cuts on the market. I used to work for this company. I don't work for them, I haven't worked for them in years, but still. The Calibri V-Cut is the best I have ever used. And I've used them all. So let's give this thing, I'm gonna show you what kind of cut you get with this. Look at that beautiful, beautiful cut. Nice and deep. And we also have a nice variety of colors. The rainbow of colors with these here at the Continental Cigar Club. And we're gonna light it with this beautiful Continental Scar Club lighter. But first, let me get some dry draw in. See, I haven't used a V cut in a long time, so. Very strong tobacco. All right, let's get to work. Remember, don't put the flame on the cigar if possible. Keep it away and just take your time. There's no rush. It's not like, you know, you're being tested or you're gonna, you know, you got, so you, once you light a cigar, there should be no rush on it. because it will affect the taste of your cigar through the whole experience. So take your time, light it right. And don't over toast it. You know, you can use the cedar if you want, you can use the matches if you want. Um, for my, for this video sake, I'm not gonna, it takes a little longer. So I'm using the. The Continental Cigar Club lighter. Very strong cedar off the foot. So it's February 1st, 2021. Just nothing seems to have changed. You know, they opened up some outside 
the restaurants can serve outside eight feet apart or a minimum of so many people outside. Outside patios, yes, that's the proper word. Because well, it's picking up strength already. Um, I guess it's gonna be Intensio. Yeah. So I watched this um, movie on uh, Apple TV called Palmer with uh, Justin Timberlake. And I'm not a fan of Justin Timberlake's mu music. Uh, I, I like him as an actor. I think he's, he's a very, very good actor. And, and the movie was very good. I really enjoyed it. Uh, you know, it, it tackles certain issues. However, it does it very, very tastefully, very well done, put it that way. You don't, you know, so it's not, it's not like some of these movies, like they just want to throw these topics in your face. Like, you're gonna, you're gonna accept it. You they don't let you like feel, they don't let you like, they're almost like they're attacking you for, for thinking a certain way, rather than, let me just show you a different dynamic or a different situation or a different ex whatever and um, it was very well done I really and I think it's it's one of the best ones out there on Apple TV it deals with a few topics but it's not like I said it's not like like again hit with a tsunami of topics of of, you know, the political correct, you know, getting hit with the book of political correctness. I, you know, it's, it's, it's well done. That's all I'll say. To give it a shot. It's, I think you'll like it. Like I like the cigar. Davidoff. Robusto Intensio. I'm pairing this up with a coffee drink. Okay. I had a Padron 1926 this weekend. Sat by the pool and my ashtray and my uh, Amstel light. And I had some uh, Basil Hayden, a new one. It's got the Jamaican rum in it. Uh, very nice and relaxing. My friend Doug came over, we talked for a little while. Uh, you know, time to go to bed. Went up, just laid down, and it was a beautiful night. Get a lot of smoke. And, uh, the cigars, so far it's, Pretty nice, you know. Davidoff is a more of a prestige cigar. It's, it's a little more pricier than your average cigars in the humidor, and some people, you know, have the the means to smoke just Davidoff and Padrones, and that's great. But and even if you don't, you should once in a while treat yourself to see the difference in construction and you know taste and you know you really can't if, if you're buying once one in a while once in you know a group blue moon you can't really judge the consistency but uh, I've in my experience of smoking many Davidoff uh, because they have very consistent cigars I don't think I've got many bad ones out of the hundreds that I've smoked and uh, if I smoked hundreds I don't know I smoked them quite a bit a while ago I'm a more of a Padron guy. Now I can say smoke thousands of Padrones because that's that's my wheelhouse in my palate. But I'm a Padron Maduro guy. Numbered series and 1926. Those are the ones that I really love. Well, I'm going to continue smoking this when I get closer to the this pot. I think I will 
hit record and tell you what I'm getting. All right? All right. So this Davidoff Robusto Intensio, or Intenso, uh, it started off cedary, woody notes. As it got a little bit more in, it got peppery and citrusy. And I got a really, I don't know, my mouth is very dry. It's getting a very dry cotton mouth from the cigar. Uh, it had full smoke. The burn wasn't bad. I only, did, only had to touch it up once. Um, and it just, it, the strength stayed, it mellowed a little bit, and then it got a little bit more peppery towards the end. Still, the, the, the cotton dry malt I'm getting from this cigar is, is uh, you know, I don't understand it. And I, I actually, during, while I was smoking, I went and read some more reviews online to see if that was something common, and it seems like it is. Most of the reviewers got a dry malt or a few of them. Uh, it wasn't that many. And, um, I don't know. But as you see, everything else is pumping, you know, full of creamy smoke, but I don't know what, what the thing is. Um, I like the Millennium, I like the Late Hour, I like the Winston Churchill, the 702, the Royal Solomon. Um, most of the Davidoff cigars I really enjoy. Uh, maybe it's just there's too many different tobaccos in the filler. I don't know. It just didn't. And I drank. I mean, this thing was full. And I usually don't drink the whole thing while I'm smoking. So that's just what it, what it, it is what it is, I guess. If you like that kind of cotton, dry malt, peppery, citrus, woody, this cigar is for you. So, with that being said, my tongue keeps sticking to my roof. <laughs> my fault. I don't know why it's happening. Um, where, you know, every cigar can be a great cigar, I guess. Uh, for me, for my palate. This may, you may love it. I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, what's better than hanging out? And listening to the cigar assessment, review a cigar, and smoking a cigar with me. Nothing, that's right. So, if you like the review, hit like. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit subscribe. And you'll get updates when I do new reviews. And, uh, I, don't know, I try to be honest. You know, I'm not, nobody's paying me, nobody's doing anything. Even though I'm thinking about putting a Venmo on this so I can, uh, because YouTube will not uh, put any ads or give me any money because it's tobacco. Even though I've seen some ads for vaping on YouTube, you know. So we'll see. You know, a little, little bit helps. Every little bit helps. Until next time, adios amigos and amigas.